So, Chris, here's the difficult thing that I think that we have to try to educate people on, and I, I need the education myself. You know, like I said, I've been put out before, and it's kind of something where everybody laughs, and, you know, everybody has a yeah. good joke about it. But at the same point, I think there's a drastic difference between going out and then having something where, you know, there are complications where people may not know what's going on, or they may be afraid. I think that's what happens to a lot of training partners. What are the differences between like a regular go out and that yeah. people should be looking out for? It's the um, one thing I was talking, speaking with one of the uh, black belt. He's actually, um, he works in the hospital facilities um, as a, a nurse and also um, has, has been really helpful and and helping me understand more about you know the complications with with what's been going on with a lot of these guys but we were talking two days ago um, and he said that um, it's it's the it's when you you know how you stand up from a couch it's like you might get dizzy for a second that's one thing but to be laying on the ground and and, and being dizzy on the ground that's that's a huge sign so when you're laying on your back looking up and you're dizzy, that's going to be a huge sign that there's there's a problem. Now, it could just be a tear. It might not be an, an actual stroke. Um, so, I mean, that's the other – that's I'm, – I'm just fast-forwarding a little bit. But the, the other symptoms we started to find is – when people have like flu like symptoms prior like i had i had a little bit of flu like symptoms before um my stroke so i felt like i had I, I felt like i had allergies like almost like you felt sick but you weren't like sick it was really weird and i don't know if that had to do with the tear but um uh, going back to to your question the um i i do recall blurry vision in my right eye a couple of weeks prior to that accident as well. And I did drive home and I chalked it up to a hard night of training. Mm -hmm. uh, I might have just hit my head somewhere on somebody's knee at one point. And, and really it went on. Now that I look back, you know, it went on that, that blurry eye was blurry for about almost, I want to say, you know, I can't remember exactly, but it was over 20 minutes, half hour or something like that. And you know, again, I just chalked it up to whatever. I had also had eye damage in that same eye because I did a knee bar on somebody once, and I put his toe in my eye. It was oh, really yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I was kind of like, oh, it must just be that injury again. Like, oh, seven years later. You know what I mean? Yeah. But um, so that's a, that's that's something. But the the you know somebody goes in a choke, you know, hard guillotine, fight out of it, fight out of it, fight out of it. And then, oh, I'm kind of dizzy, and oh, I'm kind of, you know, I, I feel like a tingly in my arm or something, um, or um, somebody has uh, kind of a little bit of a speech, like just slurring their speech or just not making sense, and just chalking it up to dehydration. That's where that. That's where Josh and I were speaking a couple days ago. Because so, Josh, just to get back, Josh is a black belt in Cali, and it. He just had this dissection happen to him just now in January of 2019. So we're in April right now. So, you know, he's just four months into it. Again, he's one of those guys that found my story online. And, and we've been, I've been calling him, hey, man, how you doing? You know, are you back on the mats yet? You know, and all that kind of, you know, we're just all a good support group. And, and I was talking to him about the podcast and I'm like, you know, what is it that we need to be like, what's, what is that met? Like, what do the key coaches need to be aware of? It's these type of signs, you know, the, the dizzy chalking it up to dehydration, blurry vision, tingling, um, numbness, um, things that just aren't normal because here's the thing we're playing with the brain right now. Okay. It's not, it's not like, you know, I've had all kinds of injuries, obviously, and, you know, you kind of, especially like joints and all that kind of stuff, it's like, ah, you know, I'll work through it. Maybe it's maybe it's torn this, torn that, but we'll work through it, right? But the brain's not the same thing as, as, as your, your, your bones. Like, you can't, the brain's, like, that's, that's the main hard drive of the software of the matrix of the computer. If that thing gets wet, you know, it's like it's your cell phone, you can dump water all over your iPhone, that thing's going to, you know, melt. Like, you don't want that. Same thing with the brain, you know. So Josh said, he goes, you know, there's just no room 
the, from a coach's responsibility, there's no room for them not to say, it's you are going to the doctor. I don't care what you say, Mr. Alpha Male Guy, because we all think it's not going to happen to us and we're okay. You have to go. Like You just have to go get checked out. And that that could cause something more massive and more and and it could save somebody from, you know, really like my my ex wife, um, she's she's in physical therapy, so she goes from home to home, and she works with stroke patients. Mm -hmm. So when they called her that day, like she was, she says to this day, she's like, I she's like, I didn't know what to expect because the people that I see in the homes that I'm servicing that have these strokes, it's like they can't speak, they can't, you know, they can't. You know, it's, 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 you're messing with the brain, man. So, yeah. you know, he, you're right. So that's, so from in your school that the message is more and it's like, where do we have to change BJJ? Because, you know, all of us guys, like, we're not here to let's change BJJ. Like, dude, we love it. Like all of us all agree, like we wouldn't change a thing. You know what I mean? Um, so these are guys and girls that have had strokes. There's, there's, there's some females too. Um, and uh, we wouldn't change a thing. But now we think that what does have to change in jiu-jitsu, it's, it's more awareness to the coaches 